with the season, we wish to turn the focus today on the spices of Christmas. As you know, a major part of the Jamaican Christmas tradition is the Christmas cake and the ham and things like sorrel and ginger beer and eggnog. Huh, some eggnog I drink over the weekend with some rum and that's a yes. Now, some of the important ingredients that make our dishes and drinks are as, as flavorful and as delicious are the things like the spices that go in them. And among the very important spices are the ginger and the pimento and the nutmeg and the turmeric. Whoa, this morning, if you tell us about these spices, is none other than the spice man himself, Mr. Byron Henry, who is the manager export division of the Ministry of industry covers agriculture and fisheries good morning to you mr henry the the, the spice man how are you today hi dorian good morning to you and good morning your listeners um, i'm fine I'm, and you i am wonderful i hope you don't meet, mind me calling you spice man i didn't tell me for call you so you know <laughs> not a problem that's fine with me <laughs> so what are the main spices currently cultivated right here in jamaica well the main spice you have mentioned for a while ago um which is the ginger mm-hmm. pimento nutmeg turmeric and of course, I'm gonna have, have left out um, hot pepper. Yes, man. Yes, man. I'm hot. <laughs> right. Now, what makes these spices so important? Well, as you all know, our spices are the best in terms of flavor in the world. Yes. Um, our pimento is premium, and so is our ginger, nutmeg, and your turmeric. Mm-hmm. And you know, the world thought after them because of the, the flavor. Yes. They're more flavorful than spices of other origin. Mm-hmm. Why is this so? Though? Why? Why are we always more flavorful? Uh, I think it's, it's our climate, our microclimate, uh-huh. and our geographic location. Okay. Uh, among other things, because of our soil type and so on. Mm-hmm. Right, so those are some of the factors that I think contribute to so, um, the flavor, the high flavor. Yes. Have a super flavor for our spices. And I'm happy to see that we're able to get all of that over this season. I mean, there was ginger, of course. You have your cloves and the other spices for your ham and, uh, you know, uh, the sorrel. And, of course, that was there. Lots of it around the place. That was really, really happy to see that. Now, I'm told that the ministry has a spice development program underway. What are the objectives of this program? Spice development program. Well, it's, it's an ongoing program, um, Doreen, and the, the main purpose of the program is to ensure that our spice remains in the marketplace and expand. Yes. And um, as a result of that, uh, what we do, we facilitate the farmers by providing them with planting materials. For example, for um, nutmeg and cemento, we do plant planted ceilings. Okay. And we make them available to the farmers. Okay. Free. Okay, that sounds good. Yes, right. right, right. All right, now as manager of the export division of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture, and Fisheries, what is the role of this division? Well, our main focus is basically market access and provision of technical advice to farmers. Mm-hmm. And what we do, we, um, we facilitate value addition. Mm-hmm. For example, we move pimento and pimento powder. We mm-hmm. move pimento and pimento oil, which is more convenient. Pimento oil? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> and we have oil coming from the leaves and oil coming from the berries. Oh. Yes. You teach me other have, stuff. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. We also have ginger powder. Yes. Um, and nutmeg powder as well. Yes. So we, we try to market, well, to do value addition and to expand the market base of the spices on behalf of the farm and the country. Nice, nice, nice. So, how are you looking forward to 2017 and beyond? Well, um, one of the targets that we have for 2017 is to expand, um, for example, the pimento industry by another 100 hectares. Mm-hmm. So, we're putting in more plants. Uh, we also have a problem with ginger disease called rhizome rot. Mm-hmm. So, we'll be establishing some disciculture plots mm-hmm. and nurseries to provide clean planting material. For the farmers, and of course, we'll continue with the, val- with the value addition in terms of looking at other products that can be had from the spices. Okay, good, good. Sounds wonderful, and I'm happy to see our spices, and glad to hear that them is even better, flavorful than other places, and it will make us export more, no? Of course, definitely. <laughs> well, I want to thank you very much, Mr. Henry, Mr. Byron Henry, the spice man himself, for letting me know all about this this morning. We certainly look forward to hearing about all, especially this uh, spice development program, etc. Looking forward to that. Looks like a very lucrative 2017. We're happy for that. Definitely. Thank you, Dorian. Yeah, man. All the best to you. And same here. Bye-bye. Okay.
So that's it for AgriBuzz today. Learning more about the spices of Jamaica as we continue to spice up the festive season. Now, let us remember to continue to support our farmers as we grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Now, for more information on what's happening in the agricultural sector, please visit the websites of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries at www.moa.gov.jm and www.miic.gov.jm. Follow them on Twitter and check them out on Facebook. And again, join us again next week for another AgroBuzz. <laughs> Everybody when we say, eat what we grow, grow what we eat, if it's good for our economy, everybody who talk out the street, when we say, eat what we grow, come again, grow what we eat, if it's good for our economy, everybody who talk out the street, eat what we grow, grow what we eat, if it's good for our economy. I'm the man who's